Builder Trend, Procore, Smartsheets, Microsoft Projects, BuildOps? Which one's best? Procore is the most well-known, but is that overkill for you? Are you willing to part with a percentage of your annual revenue every year? Many of our clients say, not for me. And you may be thinking the same thing. So today, we're investigating Builder Trend to determine what it does well, how much it costs, and what's missing. So what is Builder Trend? Builder Trend is a construction management software designed for home builders, specialty trades, remodelers, and small commercial contractors, typically those with crews with two to 50 employees. It's cloud-based and includes dedicated mobile app for both Apple and Android devices. Builder Trend focuses on five main areas for managing construction operations. Sales and pre-sales, think customer management and estimating, project management for scheduling jobs and task management, communication for streamlining both clients and subcontractor conversations, financials for tracking finances, and their newest offering, materials management. Builder Trend also recently acquired its competitor, CoConstruct, and has started to integrate some of its features into its product. But this also came with an increase in price, which has gotten some attention from longtime customers. Let's start with what Builder Trend does well and what it could do better. To start, its project management and scheduling tools are the backbone of the system and the best feature of Builder Trend. I really like how you can draft templates and save them for repeat projects. Just build one schedule once, and the next time you have a complex project, you can tweak any changes from the previous job. Communication is also a huge positive for Builder Trend. They have portals for both customers and subcontractors. Built-in messaging, digital signatures, and proposals keep everyone aligned without daily office calls. Another positive of Builder Trend is its finance module and accounting integrations. You can build detailed project budgets using cost codes, track committed and actual costs, manage purchase orders, and create various reports. When it's time to get paid, you can generate invoices and even accept online payments directly through the platform. That leads us right into the cons of Builder Trend. First, while I really like how the system integrates directly with QuickBooks, it does have limitations for some accounting workflows. Things like subcontractor taxes don't always calculate correctly, and the invoice creator is pretty basic, so don't expect to add custom branding or change the formatting. The second con is that Builder Trend can be pretty complex to set up correctly. Many of the complaints that Builder Trend is, quote, not working stem from misconfigured schedule templates or chart of accounts. While some companies value this depth, it can turn off less tech-savvy users who don't want to spend the time to properly set up. Lastly, since Builder Trend acquired CoConstruct, we've seen users report aggressive sales tactics that push them into annual contracts just to test the system out. We recommend reading over the contracts extensively to ensure you're on the plan you want, not the one you were sold. And speaking of contracts, let's take a look at Builder Trend's pricing. Earlier this year, Builder Trend removed its pricing publicly from its website. Previously, we saw costs in the $400 to $500 a month range for starting costs. Now, based on feedback from clients and online chatter, we expect most plans to start between $600 and $800 a month for the basic project management and job scheduling. Advanced plans can exceed $1,100 a month, introducing features like warranty tracking and change order management. Additionally, you'll need to purchase tools like Digital Takeoff separately. However, it's worth noting that most new users get a $300 to $400 a month discount on new plans. Unlike other systems like Procore, this is a flat rate monthly cost that includes unlimited users, projects, and portals for clients and subcontractors. Now let's take a look at a couple of Builder Trend's standout features. First up, it's project management and scheduling tools. This is where Builder Trend really separates itself from more basic construction platforms like Jobber or Housecall Pro. Using a simple drag and drop interface, you're able to build job timelines using Gantt charts, set link task dependencies, and auto-adjust project schedules if there are any delays. And as we talked about earlier, the project templates are a huge time saver. After creating a template, you can reuse it for future projects by simply adjusting the schedule for any changes and adding appropriate crews or subs you want to work with. Once a project is created, it's easy to track progress using daily logs. These logs allow foremen or subcontractors to submit a report on who was on site, what got done, and any issues or delays. You can even attach photos or documents to projects to replace tools like SharePoint or Google Drive. Builder Trend subcontractor and client portals are another key feature. This is where anyone outside your company can view project details without asking your team. Your clients simply log on to the unique portal and get access to any project details you wish to share, like progress photos or cost breakdowns. Customers can submit and approve change orders and select the materials or fixtures they'd like to utilize. And once a project is completed, you can even accept payment through the online portal. 
Internally, everyone from project managers to field crews can message each other directly from within the portal. You can comment on tasks, tag users and updates, and get instant notifications when something changes. Additionally, if you work with subcontractors or large teams, they also have access to their own online portal. They can view project updates, review assigned documents, and communicate directly with your team. Although it's worth noting that subcontractors must sign up with an email, and some contractors report pushback from their subs on this. So what's the final verdict? All in all, I give BuilderTrend an 8.6 out of 10 for its strong project management and scheduling tools, communication portals, and integrations with QuickBooks and Xero. On the downside, it takes some time to learn the program fully, which can lead to, quote, broken setups. It requires your subcontractors to create an account and sign up, and its rising costs and contracts are real concerns to consider. But if you're looking for an all-in-one construction management platform that can handle your business's needs from start to finish, it offers a competitive option to consider over more expensive options like Brocor. And if you're not looking for an all-in-one system or you're a specialty trade contractor, then there are some alternatives that might be worth checking out. For example, Bolt is a great option for trade contractors needing simple scheduling and job tracking. And Stack excels at estimating and digital takeoffs. And if you need job cost accounting and construction management in one platform, then a program like TimeSuite Toolbox might be more up your alley. If you're not sure where to start or which system makes the most sense for your business, we can help. Simply explain your construction company to our project advisors, and we'll shortlist a select number of software systems that meet your requirements, your budget, and your business. Use the link in the description or reach out to us at softwareconnect.com to get started. If you get any value from this video today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and comment on what construction software you want us to review next. To learn more about construction management system, check out our video here for the top four construction management systems of 2025.